brothers and sisters. Here we are again dealing with these tyrants creating false narratives and fake propaganda to try to appeal to the ignorant bootlickers. It was absurd enough to watch these armed thugs appearing to play basketball with our neighborhood kids for the cameras or dishing out candy and turkeys for the holidays. Yet that same evening, they'd be out shooting a child in the back or battering a citizen bound to a wheelchair. Really just brings me back to the propaganda machine of the Nazis and how they tried to convince the German people that they needed to stick together for a better Germany. Instead, what we see daily is how they violate our rights, how they beat citizens mercilessly, and how they completely ignore the US Constitution. Join me in viewing the behind the scenes of this farce in full swing as they attempt to arrest our own Capital Transparency Auditor for calling out their false reporting. I'm gonna tell you this though, you can film me all you want. If you come in here, okay, cross that line, I'm gonna take you to jail. For recording in public? No, for obstructing the police. For coming on to private For okay? obstructing a police interview? Yes. Sergeant Andrew Schroeder is in his eighth year with the Minneapolis Police Department and Lieutenant Jeff Waite has been here for 28 years. These security guards tried to, tried to gang up on me and tell me about filming in public. Uh, this, this private security guard and this private security guard right in front of the police. Hey, sir, I'm not going to let you look. You can't come back here. All right. There's no sign or anything. You, you have no power over me, it's sir. City property, sir. Hey, listen, all right. And who do you think owns the city property? The police department in this case. Don't touch me, dude. I'm not touching you. I'm just trying to give me my personal space. You're coming at me. Don't touch me, hey, dude. Listen, buddy. I want to film what's going on here. Yeah, you can't. You're going to get out of my way. You're All right, now you are actually touching me. I am. But you're getting in the Except, way. Excuse me, sir. Excuse this me, sir. Property, excuse okay? me, sir. This is, a, just, this is a public not, alley. Not this is a public not alley. Not this is a public alley. You're being a this guy's touched me, this guy's assaulted me as well. Okay. So and you're telling me that cars aren't allowed to go through here? I'm telling you, this is private property. These guys both both touched me, officers, by the way. That was unwanted touching. No, you guys both touched me because you were in. You're impeding my progress. This is not private property. What does it say right there beyond that fence? Use your brain. No, I'm going to put up some police tape. Uh, we're you're going to put up police tape. Yep, you got it, buddy. Hey, so guys, this is a crime scene. This, is, this is a crime scene. Crime, crime. You guys you're are you're me, Schroeder? Right? We're, we're creating a crime scene, right, with the tape. So this is now going to be a crime scene. Hats off to the Capital Transparency YouTube channel. Because of his perseverance and unwillingness to back down from an unnecessary conflict initiated, mind you, by the private security of Fox News and Laura Ingram and the Minneapolis Police Department, in one video, he manages to expose not only the lies promoted by corporately controlled Pinocchio media, which is why I'm telling you the 110% most honestly honest, truthiest, truthiest ever, believe me, but also the gross hypocrisy and tyranny of law enforcers as they attempt to portray themselves as protectors and servants of the people. In this video, you'll see demonstrated before your very eyes arbitrary rules made up on the fly to obscure the truth and control a public image narrative for law enforcement that is simply not in agreement with reality. Let's take a look at Capital Transparency's work as he walks up on an interview being conducted by Laura Ingram's Fox News and the Minneapolis Police Department while they're blocking a public sidewalk. So this lady can't get by on the sidewalk because they have the sidewalk blocked off. I treat everyone I deal with just like I would want my mother or father to be treated. Right now? Sprinkled in between Capital Transparency's coverage, you'll see footage of Laura Ingram's finished Copaganda public relations product where Fox News attempts to put a good face on tyranny. What are you doing to me? I can do whatever I want. It's a public place. Why are you guys trying to gang up on me while these guys are in public? What are you, private, private security? As we've seen too many times to count, this Sergeant Andrew Schroeder character initially comes off as a nice cop who's more than willing to accommodate an individual exercising his rights. But it doesn't take long for the fangs to protrude from his Eddie Munster looking face. Oh, 
Of all people, you guys should know about filming in public. I don't know about your private security guards here. All right, so this private security guard wanted to take my picture right here, this guy. Who do you work for, dude? Trying to gang up on people in public in front of cops. Unbelievable. We work for a little man. A little bit of a bully, aren't you? It makes it tough for us to actually just do our jobs without being harassed and cameras in our face when we're just trying to work. I mean, we're not we're not trying to take away anybody's rights. We're just trying to do our job. And you constantly have people questioning how we do things and telling us that we're not doing things right. Right in front of the police. Hey, buddy. Uh, no problem. Stand here and film all you want. I, I, you don't have to tell me what I know I can do. Yep. This is private property, so you can't come in the alley, okay? That's great. Thank you. So alleys are private property? Yes. I just want to confirm alleys are private property in your mind. Sorry. Not trying to. Take away anybody's rights. We're Does anyone know of a parallel universe in which publicly accessible alleyways are considered private property? Are there any cops who even know the difference between public and private property? Because as Lieutenant Jeff Waite will demonstrate in a couple minutes, he sure doesn't know. So they were doing some kind of news story and the news story security guards wanted to gang up on me, which is just some kind of irony that, that newscasters wouldn't know about recording in public. I'm not gonna let you alone. Can't come back here. All right. I, there's no sign or anything. City you you have no power over me, it's sir. City property, sir. Hey, listen, all right. And who do you think owns city property? The police department, in this case. Don't touch me, dude. I'm not touching you. I'm just trying to give you my personal space. You're coming at me. Don't touch me, hey, dude. Listen, buddy. I want to film what's going on here. Yeah, you can't. You're gonna get out of my way. You're all right. Now you are actually touching me. I am. Why are you touching me? This is city property. Can't let you on. Who owns city property, little man? The police department. The police. Yeah. Are you that stupid? Get out of my way, dude. Dude, please stop touching me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. This is a this is a public alley. This is a public alley. This is a public alley. You're being a dick. This is a public alley. This is a public alley. You're being a dick. I try to get your attention over here. This is a public alley. I don't care who your client is. Quit touching me. I'm asking you. This is a public alley. So technically, this guy's touched me. This guy's assaulted me as well. Okay. Can I can I explain something? You're an officer. You should take take care of this. It should be noted that Lieutenant Jeff Waite just witnessed at least one incident of physical assault and did nothing about it. But if the cameraman physically assaulted somebody, they'd be Johnny on the spot. Can I, can I explain something to you first? So the public alley runs along there and goes out that way. This is private property. This is open. There are no signs. This connects both of these two lots. Well, I'm telling you, just, uh, is there a sign in my front yard that says private property? No. But right? there's, is there a trust, no trespassing sign in your front yard? Be. Yes, it does. You can't walk anywhere through. a mailman can go. And just to clarify real quick, there is a difference between public and private property. Even without a no trespassing sign, every person who has two non-law enforcement brain cells to rub together knows they can't park their car on your driveway or use your private drive as a turnaround. A private business owner has the right to tell you not to record, whereas a public employee doesn't have that right. Seems pretty straightforward. I mean, we're, not, we're not trying to take away anybody's rights. We're just trying to do our job. And you constantly have people questioning how we do things and telling us that we're not doing things right. And I don't I doubt myself. I can count on no one else. And I do not need your help. I was told to show, not tell. Yeah. So you're telling me you can just go camp in my front yard? So you're telling me that cars aren't allowed to go through here? I'm telling you this is private property. It says right there, no public parking. That, that would be lot. that would be that These lot, two lots correct? Are, are connected. They're both it's, city lots. It's open. There's no signs. 
Yeah, let's go. Because I'm not going to be parking. I'm going to be standing. No, I'm going to put up some police tape. Uh, we're You're going to put up police tape? Yep, you got it, buddy. That's awesome. Hey, so guys, this is a crime scene. I treat everyone I deal with just like I would want my mother or father to be treated. You can stand out here. So you're a lieutenant? I am. And, and, and you think this is a good idea? I think what's a good idea? I'm live streaming, so okay. whatever you think well, is a good I, idea. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're referring to. I don't know why so I can't film whatever you guys are doing. An interview is a good idea, sure. Yeah, an interview is a great idea, right? For public perception, better Correct. perception of what you guys are doing. Correct. So why do you keep moving away from a camera? Um, because this is a private interview. <laughs> a private interview conducted in public. So, right. If you're having a private interview, you would have it behind closed doors. Sir, I want to try and be clear too. The, the movement is not at our request. Basically what we're doing. So now we're creating a crime scene, right? That's what the tape does, is create a crime scene? I don't think I created a crime scene. I think what I said is we're, we're, we're creating a crime scene, right, with the tape. So this is now going to be a crime scene. No, I'm not going to put it up. I love this. Tyrant Schroeder quickly changed his mind when Capital Transparency mentions the use of crime scene tape for something that's clearly not a crime scene. Now comes the threat of arrest from former nice cop, Sergeant Schroeder. Just be looking out for the fangs. I'm gonna tell you this though, film me all you want. If you come in here, okay, cross that line, I'm gonna take you to jail. For recording in public? No. For obstructing the police. For coming on to private. For bank? obstructing a police interview? Yes. It's police business. And and I would like to record the police business. You can from right here. From right here. You're welcome to stand here. You're welcome to go stand anywhere in the alley. You guys you guys okay. okay. So this okay. is the public perception they're gonna get of you. Fine. Okay. I treat everyone I deal with just like I would want my mother or father to be treated. I'm gonna tell you this though. Film me all you want. If you come in here, okay, cross that line, I'm gonna take you to jail. For recording in public. Not to come in here. Okay. Try me. We're good, guys. I treat everyone I deal with just like I would want my mother or father to be treated. Okay. Try me. Don't forget to subscribe to Capital Transparency. I'll leave the link in the description and in the pinned comment. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, give this video a like, and share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my private email list through my website, highimpactflix.com, and grab a hard-hitting conversation starting design that you can put on a shirt, hoodie, mug, cell phone case, hat, whatever you want. I'll see you in the next video.